How's it going everybody? It's Sonic Ninja 101 here and in this quick little video I want to talk about my feelings towards the Samurai Jack continuationing happening next month. Now for some of you who may not know, Samurai Jack is actually one of my favorite cartoons of all time. And I remember as a kid I was really bummed out to hear that Cartoon Network had actually cancelled the series. That meant that we didn't get to know if Samurai Jack actually got to go back to the past and stop Aku from rising to power and taking over the universe. But I'm happy to say that Adult Swim decided to bring Jack back and we finally get to see if Jack's going to be able to go back to the past and stop Aku once and for all. Now, from what we received from the trailer, the story takes place 50 years since the original um, series count, debuted back in the early 2000s. And I gotta say, it's going to be pretty dang dark compared to the original series. It's not going to be like extremely, extremely dark. It's just more darker and serious tone than the original ones. In the original, we had our fair share of action and a little bit of drama, but we also had our comedic side as well. In this one, it almost looks like they're taking a complete serious approach to the series as well. Not to mention that they're actually going to add a little bit of blood. I'm not sure about gore though. They didn't show any gore in the trailer. All we, do, we did see like Jack get stabbed in his abdomen as he was trying to ex escape a uh, exploding castle from. And it also looks like he's going to have his fair share of new enemies as well. In the trailer we actually got to see that um, these female assassins who I guess were trained under special maybe generals under Aku. They're going to be hunting down Jack as well. So it's going to be pretty inter interesting to see how Jack's going to take those guys on. And something I also wanted um, to say that I noticed from the trailer is I didn't see Jack with his sword. In any of the um, shots we've seen I don't remember seeing Jack with his um, famous sword. That's the only thing that can actually kill Aku, and we didn't see Jack with him. So I'm going to assume that somewhere, somewhere along the line of those 50 years, Jack lost the sword. He either lost it while traveling the universe, or maybe Aku actually stole it from Jack and is keeping it, you know, someplace where Jack can't get to it. That's something that I'm thinking is going on in the story, because... Um, we've seen a whole bunch of scenes where he's using other swords and guns, which kind of surprised me to see Jack using guns. But that's just something I really wanted to notice or wanted to say is that I don't remember seeing Jack with his sword in any of the scenes from the trailer. Um, if I also remember correctly too, I remember Gandhi um, was saying that um, this is like a story of Jack finding himself. And if anything, the trailer kind of proves that when he says that he lost his purpose, his drive to go back into the past and, you know, finally stop a coup. So that's going to be actually something interesting to see. It's going to be cool to see Jack once again find his drive to stop a coup and save the entire universe from his control and the future. Um, and I got to really admit, it's going to be really cool to see my favorite samurai come back as well. But that's just all I wanted to say in this quick little video. Tell me what you guys think. Are you excited to see this upcoming return of Samurai Jack? Are you guys hoping that he'll actually be able to go back to the past and stop Aku once and for all? Let me know down in the comments as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please hit that like button faster than the speed of sound. And if you haven't yet, why not um, subscribe to the channel as well? It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching so much. And remember, a chili dog a day keeps the Eggman away. Love and God bless y'all. Hopefully all you guys again in our next adventure. Bye!